as we head from Friday right on into the weekend, along with the slightly increased levels of humidity. I don't think we see that so much tomorrow, but Thursday night into Friday, humidity levels will start to increase. Chance for thunderstorms will return as well. One opportunity Thursday night into Friday, another one Sunday night into Monday. It does look as though right in between those two storm opportunities, though, most of this Father's Day weekend should stay on the drier side. So here's what the future track looks like as we go through the rest of tonight. Again, high pressure in control. It's going to be that way as we go through the day tomorrow, although as it starts to shift to the southeast, we'll turn that flow southwesterly. That will help to pump in some slightly warmer temperatures. And then we'll watch this cold front here back to the west. And initially it looked like it was going to make a pretty swift pass through here on Friday. Now it's looking like it's trending a little bit slower. I think the round of showers and thunderstorms here late Thursday night into early Friday will be in a weakening phase and then we'll have to watch how quickly this can come through on Friday to see if perhaps we can see a secondary round of thunderstorms on Friday afternoon. Severe weather outlook on Thursday. Slight risk is back to the west of Lake Michigan. That looks good to me. On Friday, the slight risk area for severe weather is mostly to the southeast of Interstate 69. Let's keep a close eye on this as that front starts to push its way to the southeast. Those thunderstorms may redevelop far enough southeast that they are out of our viewing area. Certainly something to keep a close eye on. Saturday into Sunday looks mainly dry at this point in time, perhaps slightly more humid with temps in the 80s. And then we'll watch that next round of thunderstorms as we head through Sunday night and Monday.